looking for. He can put it on. You're a pro now, huh? I is a pro. Oh, don't say it like that. I am a pro. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie's sewing again today. Yep. She's going to do the, the crayon, crayon roll up. And we're going to be doing these, I said it yesterday, a little bit longer. Yeah. We're out for a two more additional weeks, yeah. so we'll do these as much as we can. She says she wants to do it every day until they go back April 6th, so we will see. <laughs> she says she's going to get through all of the freebies. Yep. She might have, she might need more. We'll see. Yep. This one's a little bit more difficult for her. I'm probably going to help just a little bit yeah. with the marking, but that's it. You ready? Uh-huh. Sit up straight. There you go. All right. Welcome back. Welcome back. Today we are making the crayon roll-up. You can get the pattern off of madeformermaids.com, or you can just cut, cut out a, a, one piece of paper that is 7, ti seven times 17 inches and 3 times 16 inches. So... The things you will need are paperweights, pattern weights, the paperweights, <laughs> um, like a fabric marking pen, chalk marker, whatever. A ruler. This one's oddly big. Sewing ribbon. Fabric scissors. Paper scissors. Um. Fusible interfacing or fusible fleece. That's optional. Fusible fleece or fusible interfacing. This is optional. You do not have to use this. It just makes the roll-up stronger. One piece of knit fabric. Woven. Woven. That one's for the pocket. For the pocket. And one piece. This is supposed to be one. Of, um... No, you need one for the front and one for the back. Okay. Then two pieces <laughs> of... Woven fabric. So, let's get started. Did you say the ribbon? Yes. Oh, okay, sorry. The things that... First, we're going to cut out the pattern. So, take your paper scissors and start cutting. Cutting. Once again, if you do not want to use the patterns, you can cut out a piece of fabric that is 7 times 17 inches and one, and one piece of paper that is 3 inches times 16 inches. We are going to cut it out so take the piece of woven fabric that you want to be your pocket make sure it is folded um, you gotta fold it right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. don't know where you folded it just like this baby you're gonna fold it hamburger style and press it my mom has already pressed this for me nope that's this one that one's for the interfacing Oh, yes. You're going to cut okay. all three with this. I okay. just need three pieces. So you're going to take your main piece, and on the fold, you're going, where it says fold, you're going to place it on the fold. Grab your paper, grab your pattern wakes. Yes, I said it right. <laughs> and, um, it's okay. <laughs> place them on. And then take your fabric scissors, then just start cutting.
that. Then I pick it up. Then you have one piece. And you're going to do the same thing to your two other pieces. Pattern weights. Then just start. Okay. <laughs> Thought I did it wrong. No, I was just straightening it up. And just start cutting. Then we have one more to do. I'm sure it's all straight. Yeah. Then take pattern weights. Now you're going to take your fusible felt or something interfacing, <laughs> interfacing, too many words, and fold it and use your smaller one pattern thing and then just lay it on there, grab your paperweights and zip, zip, zip. What is the difference between fabric and paper scissors? Well, if you use the fabric scissors on the paper, it's going to dull them and they won't be as sharp. But really nothing. So they're, they're sharper and more expensive, so you don't want to mess them up. <laughs> okay, then you're going to take your pocket piece, unfold it, then fold it hot dog style. And then press it. Mm -hmm. You're gonna stick, if you're doing the interfacing, remember you stick it right inside. Then you're gonna unfold your interfacing if you're doing this step and kind of just sandwich it inside. Oh mm -hmm. gosh, that's such, that edge is uneven. That's okay, doesn't matter. Okay. okay, let me press it for you. To the press. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna unfold this real quick. We're just going to lay it, lay our big piece down. Okay. Then you're going to take it and lay it on top. The fold side up. With the fold side up. Mm -hmm. Now, it is time to use your oval, your oval, your oversized <laughs> ruler, and where is the zero? Okay. Okay. Then you're going to measure, remember? Yes. Okay. One and a half, one and a half inches. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you'll just mark along the pocket piece. Wait. There. Well, let's see, your edge is a little off. It's okay. okay. Here, let's put it right. Let me see that go. I'm just gonna get make it straight. Oh no! See, look. You want look, baby? See this edge? I'm trying mm -hmm. to put it on a straight line. Oh. And then it'll be straight. Okay. Okay. Then you're.
chalk marker thingy, whatever. Just start carefully pressing them. Okay, so I didn't do it even. That's okay. So you mark one and a half inches mm -hmm. on each edge. Then do you remember on the rest? Mm hmm One inch, one inch, one inch, one inch. Mm-hmm. Take it. If you do it like that, then you know it's marking. Oh! <laughs> I didn't know that. Okay, that's all right. Just hold it up straight. Good job. This one has a lot of marking. Yep. But... A lot of measuring. Hold on, make sure it's straight. Look, because you can see through it. Okay, go ahead. You can also um, adjust the sides of the pocket in case you have like a bigger crown or a bigger pen. Makeup brushes. Makeup brushes. Markers. Okay, hold on, hold on. And what do you do after you mark them all? Then you are going to sew it mm -hmm. on every single line, <laughs> which is probably going to take forever. It's okay. Hold on. Hold on. You're going too fast. Okay. You have to make sure it's flat. And make sure it's straight. Wait, wait, wait. Then. Almost there. Almost done. Sorry, I'm squishing you with the ruler. Wait till you lean back. Let me see. Hold on. Okay. I can do it by myself. I know. I'm just gonna remark this one because the edge wasn't very straight, yeah. so we'll just do it like that. Boop. Alrighty, now you are going to take your pins, wherever they are. There's some. Oh, okay. No. Nope. Sorry, 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 sorry. Get out. <laughs> you shall leave. Go be cameraman. I know, but look, but don't do it this way so you don't hit it with the machine. Uh -huh. Just, you'd only need a few, like. Go be oh. cameraman. Okay, okay. It's the struggle, Sophie. Go be cameraman. Okay. So she's just pinning in a few spots so it doesn't move. Yep. About three. You should need. Hmm. It should look like this. Okay. Now you want to show them what you, or tell them what you're going to do? So then on every single line that you drew, you're going to stitch it. And then we will come back over here. You ready? Be cameraman. Okay. It doesn't matter where you start. You can start here. Did you do? I almost ended it. Hold on. Did you end it? No. Good. Okay, there we go. Probably doing it back. Hold on, it's not on. You oh. gotta make sure it's under your foot. Good job. I do struggle sometimes letting her do everything by herself. Because I'm not very much of a perfectionist, but mm. then I'm like, oh, wait. Don't. Did it come on threaded? No, didn't. Okay, good. Just the tail. It always comes unthreaded when I need to use the machine. Okay. Well, it's because you got to start on there, baby. There you go. Good job. Backstitch. Snip it. Now we're just going to keep this a few dozen times. <laughs>
But this is a really good project for them to try to stitch the straight lines. Which I'm not very good at. We also used to um, draw designs on paper when she was much smaller and have her stitch on the lines of the paper. Mm-hmm. To that practice. Was fun. I remember that. That was that was really fun. Hold on, did it come unthreaded? Yep. Oh, hey, it did! <laughs> it's alright. But it's because you gotta start on there. Let me help you. We will This just happens like every 30 minutes. When I well, sew. it's. You gotta. It's alright. You gotta start with the. Gotta start with it on there. I thought you said don't do that. Don't do what? Don't pull the thread? Well, I had to pull yeah. the thread because. It was caught in there. When you start to start a little bit further on the edge, just a little bit, that's why it's coming undone because it doesn't have anything to catch on to. So just start like, see how it's under there a little bit? I've seen a lot of teachers from my school watching me. Yeah. <laughs> I saw the trial. Well, they're probably bored. Yeah, probably. <laughs> There you go. Good job. Good job. Keep going. Just keep sewing. Just keep sewing. Do, do, do. She's loving seeing everybody post their kids sewing, haven't you? Yes. And it's also someone's birthday tomorrow. That's right. I do, I need to figure out how to save these from the live and then I will put them, try to put them up. Well done. Did you backstitch? Okay. <laughs> well, it's going to come undone, silly. Yeah, okay. Hey, be careful of that pin. You might need to move it. It's going to hit your foot. Yeah, there you go. Right here. Thank you. Okay. Nope, oh, came in done. Oh, great. <laughs> Best time ever. This is, this is uh, the one thing that she struggles with the most when she's sewing. Yeah, I have to call her and like once every five minutes. Alright, okay, there you go. It's not a big deal. Start it off from right there. Good job. Mm. Thousand more to go. <laughs> About halfway. When um, she started quilting with my mom, this is how my mom had her do the seams, too. She would mark them all for her. It's so fun. And then... She won't let me quilt, though. Well, you Who, me? Yeah. yeah you well. always say, oh, my office is too messy. <sighs> but it's true. It is true. I'm usually working, baby. All right, keep going. 
How many more? One, two. Two million. No, not that many. Four. Two million. Just keep sewing, just keep sewing. Okay. Start a little bit further on, baby. It's not on there. Two more. Nope. All the way back. Mm hmm. Good job. Do -do. All right, and this one is the further one, this one. The, nope, this one. The closest to the edge. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, just kind of move it out of the way. Oh, oops. It's okay. Oh, look, it came undone. <laughs> it's all right. Right when I do it. It's okay. Ready? Hey. What was that noise when I did it done? What was that noise on your phone while it did it done? My phone's dying. Oh, it's bad. Well, we did it right at the... Okay. Time. Mm. Right on. Wait, wait. Last one. Oh. Very last one. Oh, yeah, there you go. Nope, further. Yep. Wait. Good job. All right, now that you have all your million stitches. A lot of little pockets. All your million stitches. Do you want me to bring you the ribbon? Uh, yes, please. Okay. Just put it down a little bit. Are there any comments? Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna... I'm just ironing it so the stitch lines go away. That's about right. No, that's like this. I'll show you. So you'll just make it like double the length. Oh, okay. Just kind of fold it. You can also do a, like a ring thing. A button and a loop. Yep. Yeah. Which you probably just take the ribbon and a button. A little elastic loop or you can use elastic hair tie. Cut yeah. it in half. Now you'll just baste that right there real quick. Okay. Basting means... Do you remember? Bigger stitch. Yeah, longer stitch. Good job. And Judy said beautiful straight stitches. Oh, yay! <laughs> that's it. You know, yeah, that's good, baby. Okay. You're just holding it on there. Mm -hmm. Get your other piece for you. Wait, there's two pieces of ribbon? No, 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 no. Okay. The other piece of fabric. Okay. I got confused. Do you remember? Mm-hmm. Okay. Sandwich it together. That's right. Oh, we're gonna have a big sandwich. Make sure your ribbon ends are kind of towards the center. See? Okay. Yeah, fold them. You can pin them actually in the center if you want, so you don't catch them when you're sewing. Mm, I don't want to do that. Okay. I don't want to hear you whine if you catch them. <laughs> Just pin them. Look, like this. Fold them. And just pin, yeah, just pin them down. Sorry. I wasn't doing a good cameraman job. Nope. There you go. Then just pin it in the center. That way they don't get caught while you're sewing. Is that it? Is that it? There you go. Should we go? Yeah. No. It? No, I'm fully capable of it. Okay. Maybe. There you go. Okay. 
and you take your back piece and put it right sides together. Do you want to pin it or clip it? You have clips over there in that little button thing. And you're going to sew all the way around, leaving a two inch. Hey, I would start over here. Oh, okay. Remember? And then you can just leave this can part. You help me? Yeah. You want me to help you pin it? Yeah. Okay. Let me just or make it, or if you just clip it real quick. Clip. this a little bit. There we go. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Just keep panning, just keep clipping, do <laughs> Start over here, just start right there, and then you'll leave all that space open. Clip it. Oh, 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 I guess. There you go. Oops, hold on here. Strip there your stitches. Okay, there you go. <laughs> well, I wouldn't use clips either, but hey, make sure it stops sewing before you lift it. You're gonna get your finger. Um I know she would get frustrated if I didn't. <laughs> there you go. Again, that's the part where I struggle. Letting them make mistakes and figuring it out. I'm like, let me help you. <laughs> let me show you. I'm fully capable of it. I know, you're doing a great job. Try to keep the edge on the same part of this foot, you know what I mean? So you're, it's the same width. It's a little hard. Okay, now slow down. There, there you go. No, I just meant at the corner. Because that part's not straight, so you'll want to just... Well, you're going to have more overhang. Here, go ahead and take that out, though. Yeah. Keep That's what we'll say, keep Judy. Sewing. Do, do, do. Okay, we'll come on. Stop, 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 stop. You don't want to hit the clip because it'll knock your machine and your stitches out of alignment. Say what? I'm just teaching you good sewing habits. Mm. That's right. Okay, stop, stop, stop. See, look, you're about to hit that, and then you're going to mess it up. The mm. machine app. Good job. Turn. I'll just sew a little bit because you need to leave some open. So just, okay, stop. Good job. Do you remember what now? Mm hmm. What? Flippies. Mm hmm. You want to clip the corners or no? Yep. Can we use the alligator scissors and just okay. clip it? You can. I mean, I but really, to. you just need to clip the corners because... Can I do it to my way? Yeah, you can do it your way. Yay! Okay. You can just clip the corners, but I'm going to be fancy. Now, just make sure you don't get your stitching line because... Yeah. Hold on, wait, wait. Nope, you didn't want to do that. Oh, too bad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but look, I'm going to tell you why. Because this part, you have to flip over. So now you just mm -hmm. have barely any. Yep. 
Okay. So it works. Okay. She likes the pinking shears. She thinks they're fun. I call them my chocolate wrapper scissors. You do? Never said. I thought you called them alligator. Alligator? Yeah. I call them so many different things. Not their professional name, though. Because that name's not very fun. You're going to cut your stitch in line, baby. Okay. Okay. Nip it. Careful. Man, I'm just going to that part. Here. Can we help you? You do the rest. Okay. Well, you really don't need to. Well, I like how it looks. Okay. It looks fun. Alright. And then you flip it. Yep. We are going to flip it. Um, you have that pin in there, so mm -hmm. we'll have to be you? careful flipping it. Oh, um, yeah. I forgot about that. Whoa, you do it so fast. Mm -hmm. I didn't know, hold on, because that pin's in there. I don't want to tell you. Don't do it. Hold on. It's just a pin. Okay, there. Now go ahead. Another pin. Wait, there's another pin, though. No, I, I took that one out. I oh, you did? Mm -hmm. Almost done. Okay. We're going to use that purple this. thing. Duh. That purple thing? Mm-hmm. Get the corners. Good job. You wanna try? Mm, sure. So, let go like this. Yesterday we made the scrunchie. And on day mm -hmm. one we made a bookmark. <laughs> which was fun. And the videos should be in the same group. Mm-hmm. They're all the same. Okay, that's good. Then you gotta tuck yep. this part under, and you can top stitch the whole thing or just this part. Just closed. that part. Okay. We're not gonna waste time. Okay. Even though I did waste time. Okay. Okay. Now we're just gonna stitch right here. It's near about there to there. Okay. Okay, let's get a little closer to the edge. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, this is actually called that purple thing. That purple thing. thing. T H A N G. See, I was correct. It works really good um, for corners and then for using um, like a finger under the machine. I can't remember where I got it though. On that purple thing website. I think I got it from that purple Wawa. thing website. No. <laughs> What's Wall Wall? Wall Walk. It's a website. Uh, okay, now I'm just gonna press it for you. Okay, then you can press it after sewing all the a million stitches. <laughs> okay. Wanna take it over there? Mm -hmm. You just need to clip some threads out there. Be a little sideways, okay. You broke it, it's okay. Well, hey, don't baby, it's gonna break for real, okay. Okay, <laughs> what about I just mm. hold it? I broke the tripod a little, yeah. Okay, okay, you want to show him? Okay, hold it. Mm. Oop. Oop. you broke it. <laughs> what about I just hold it? No, go on. ahead, there you go. Okay, now that you have finished, you can clip all the stray thingamabobs. And then, you can roll it up. Do you want to put something in there? There's a pen right there. Right there, it's pink. Then you can take your pin crown thing. Sticky in there. There you go. Yeah, that works. 
and then just roll it up. Good job. Yes, I'm doing a great job. <laughs> okay. Yep. Then we just can tie a little bow. You can probably trim those if you want. Yeah. And then we'll need to heat seal the edges. Hi, Miss Gardner. <laughs> I'm going to wave. <laughs> Boob. Okay, you want to tell them what you're going to sew tomorrow? Okay. Trim these real quick. Not that yeah. yeah. Oh, not that short. Okay. <laughs> trim it. Oh. That, that's fine. <laughs> okay, tomorrow we are going to be making a dog bandana for oh. <laughs> your dog. <laughs> For your dog to make it look cute or festive festive mm -hmm. or if they're cold or if mm -hmm. you just want it to look cute mm -hmm. then we have our crown roll up Ta -da! hi miss gardner <laughs> <laughs> we have this and tomorrow you just need woven fabric tomorrow you just need woven fabric paper scissors uh, you don't have to say it all. It's just pattern weights, fabric scissors, mm -hmm. and follow along with me if you'd like. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.